Hey folks, it's Andrew Kilpatrick here, and this video will go over the song mode in Carbon. The song mode is basically used to switch between different scenes while you are doing something else like soloing on another instrument or whatever. You can switch scenes manually while the sequencer is running, but it's sometimes better just to choose the order in which you want the scenes to change in advance and then have the song mode do it automatically. So the song mode won't be able to be enabled unless there's something actually in the song to play. So to go into the song to actually edit it, you can hold down shift and press the scene button. See it says song in brackets underneath. And this will be the song event list. You can have quite a lot of entries. There are 64 entries in the list. And each entry basically selects a scene, the number of beats to play, and the transposition that will be used to play back that scene. So just to start with, I've actually made three different scenes and they sound like this. That's scene one. Scene two sounds like this. And scene three sounds like this. So you can see that we've actually used a different step length for the third scene, even though we're using the same track. So to enter data into the song list, we can turn one of the editing controls and we'll automatically make a new entry. So for instance, turning the pattern control will select which scene gets played on this entry in the list. The length control affects how many beats the scene will be played for. And the transpose control will al allow you to shift the playback of that scene up or down in semitones. Now let's play uh, entry two. Let's put scene two on there. And let's play that only for eight beats. And then on entry number three, let's go back to scene one again, but only play that for four beats. And then on Entry number four, let's play scene three for also four beats. And then on entry number five, let's play scene one again. And we'll play that down some semitones and we'll play that for eight beats. So now that song mode is enabled, instead of just playing the current scene over and over, it will actually go through the list and play each scene correctly, one at a time. So you can see, when we pressed play, it ran through the list, it switched scenes automatically, it counted the beats, and on our very last scene, it pr produced the transposition that we asked for as well. This transposition, by the way, is the same as the one that you would do by using the keyboard transpose mode. So the data in the song mode is obviously saved in the song itself, but you can turn the song mode off and just use the scene changes manually or you can turn the song mode on and it will run through the song list as we just demonstrated. So that's pretty much all there is to the song mode. Thanks for watching.